assalamu alaikum students in our last lecture we discussed spherical mirrors and the uses of spherical mirrors now today our topic is principal focus and focal length of a concave mirror we have to discuss both the principal focus of concave mirror as well as convex mirror and the focal length of both first we will discuss principal focus and focal length of a concave mirror what's the principal focus let's discuss it this is a concave mirror a concave mirror an imaginary line passing through it known as principal axis fine this is a concave mirror an imaginary line here known as principal axis fine when the rays of light are incident on the mirror in such a way the rays could be incident on the mirror in many ways like if the rays come this way this way like this fine so the rays of light can come in any direction can come from any direction but we are talking about only those rays of light when they are incident on the mirror in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis if this is a ray of light the rays of light are incident on the mirror in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis we would draw some rays of light see these are the rays of light incident rays these rays are parallel to principal axis fine after striking the mirror what would happen to these rays they would get reflected fine when the rays of light are incident on the mirror in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis after reflection from the mirror the mirror the rays of light strike the mirror now the reflection would take place this is a concave mirror so it would converge the rays of light after reflection fine so these rays of light are reflected in such a way these rays of light are reflected in such a way that they meet that they meet at a common point these reflected rays these reflected rays meet at a common point on the principal axis of the mirror let's uh, let me repeat when the rays of light are incident on the mirror in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis they are parallel to principal axis after reflection from the mirror these rays of light meet at a common point on the principal axis of the mirror and this point this point on the principal axis of the mirror where the rays of light meet after reflection from the mirror this point on the principal axis of the mirror is known as principal focus represented by capital f fine so what is a principal focus now it's a point it's simply a point on the principal axis of the mirror it's a point on the principal axis of the mirror where the rays of light meet after reflection all of the rays which are parallel to principal axis of the mirror after reflection from the mirror meet at a common point so the rays of light come this way and after reflection from the mirror they get converged they get converged in such a way that they meet at a common point on the principal axis of the mirror this common point this common point where the rays of light meet after reflection from the mirror this point is known as principal focus of a concave mirror fine so how would we define it it's the point on the principal axis of the mirror uh, it's a point on the principal axis of the mirror mirror where the rays of light after reflection from the mirror uh, get uh, converged fine so the common point where the rays of light meet after reflection from the mirror this point is known as principal focus so we would simply say that when the rays of light are incident on the mirror in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis after reflection from the mirror they meet at a common point this common point is known as principal focus of a concave mirror fine <laughs> now this principal focus is a real point it's a real point what does that mean it means that the rays of light actually meet at this point after getting reflected from the mirror the rays of light actually meet in a real sense the rays of light meet at a point 
on the principal axis of the mirror. So this point is known as principal focus and it's a real point. The next thing about the principal focus that it lies in front of a concave mirror. It lies in front of a concave mirror. Fine. So we would come across the principal focus of the uh, spherical mirror that is convex mirror where the principal focus lies behind the mirror. But in this case the principal focus lies in front of a concave mirror. So simply we would say the principal focus is a real point where the rays of light actually meet after getting reflected from the mirror and it lies in front of the mirror. It is that point where the rays of light meet after getting reflected from the mirror. But how does the incident ray come are incident on the mirror? They are incident in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis. So when the rays of light are parallel to principal axis of the mirror after getting reflected from the mirror they meet at a common point and that common point is known as principal focus denoted by capital F. Fine? Okay. Now we will discuss the principal focus of convex mirror. Before discussing that let us go to the focal length. This point, this midpoint of the mirror is known as pole. This midpoint of the mirror is known as pole. Fine? The distance of the principal focus the distance of the focus from the pole of the mirror or simply the distance between these two points these two points that is P and F the distance this much of distance the distance between P and F or the distance distance of principal focus distance of principal focus from the pole from the pole of mirror is known as focal length is known as focal length so what is the focal length focal length is simply the distance between these two points the distance from the pole of the mirror to the focus is known as focal length or simply the distance between pole and focus this much of distance this much of distance between these two points this is known as focal length fine Okay, now we will discuss the principal focus of convex mirror. See, principal focus and focal length of a convex mirror. Principal focus and focal length of convex mirror. Let us draw the convex mirror first. Here it is, the convex mirror. Likewise, we would draw an imaginary line called the principal axis. Fine. Now, when the rays of light again are incident on the mirror in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis. The same way we discussed it in the uh, concave mirror in the case of a concave mirror when the rays of light are incident on the mirror in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis of the mirror fine what would the convex mirror do now what is the property of convex mirror it would definitely reflect the rays of light but in what way it would reflect the rays of light the rays of light would get diverged as we have discussed it is known as diverging mirror Convex mirror is known as diverging mirror. So the rays of light after reflection from the mirror get diverged, get spread in different directions. So here it is. These rays of light get diverged in different directions. These rays of light would get diverged in different directions. So they are not meeting at any point. But see, let me show you. It seems if I look towards these rays of light from here, here I am observing these rays of light, fine. At this point I am observing these rays of light. Now it seems that these rays of light, it seems that these rays of light have 
diverged have come came out from a common point see i am observing these reflected rays they are in different directions i am observing these rays of light here i am looking at these rays this way fine now it appears to me that these rays of light have got diverged have came out from a common point like my hand fine these rays of light have have come out from a common point here and got diverged like this are you getting me see the rays these rays of light treat my fingers the rays of light when i spread them fine reflected rays so these rays of light appear to me that as if they have came out from a common point like this this is a point my hand is a point these rays of light have came out from a common point and spread like this so this is the reflected ray 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 fine so it appears that these rays of light have came out from a common point behind the mirror it appears to me that these reflected rays of light have came out from a common point behind the mirror and spread like this this point this point where from the rays of light appear to diverge this point on the principal axis of the mirror where from the rays of light appear to diverge they are they are not they didn't got actually diverged from this point no it appears to me when i look at these reflected rays of light it appears to me that these rays of light have came out from a common point like if i look at this ray it seems to me that this ray of light have came out through a straight path from this point fine in the same way it seems that this ray of light have came out from this point likewise here and here so it appears to me that these rays of light have came out from a common point and got diverged in different directions fine so it appears to me that's why we say it's a point on the principal axis of the mirror, mirror where from the rays of light appear to diverge so principal focus of a convex mirror is that point on the principal axis of the mirror where from the rays of light appear to diverge so it appears to me that these rays of light i am looking at the reflected rays of light it's a reflected ray fine i am looking here i am at this position looking at this reflected ray of light it appears to me that it came out from this point see from my hand this is the point fine this is the reflected ray so this point where from these rays of light originated appear to originate this point is known as principal focus of a convex mirror fine so the principal focus of a convex mirror is a point on principal axis of the mirror where from the rays of light appear to diverge fine i would show again so it's a point on the principal axis of the mirror see this is a uh, this is an incident ray another incident ray parallel to the principal axis of the mirror got reflected in this direction got reflected in this direction diverged because it's falling on a diverging mirror fine so this ray of light appears to me that it has come came from this point and it appears to me that it has come from this point so this common point where from the rays of light appear to diverge this very point is known as principal focus of a convex mirror so when the rays of light are incident on the mirror in such a way that they are parallel to principal axis of the mirror after getting reflected from the mirror these reflected rays of light appear to diverge from a common point behind the mirror from a common point behind the mirror they appear to diverge appear they appear to diverge from a common point behind the mirror and that point is known as principal focus of a convex mirror fine now again focal length if this is focus this is pole fine distance between these two points distance between these two points this distance distance between pole and focus distance between pole and focus is called as focal length focal length is denoted by small f principal focus is denoted by capital f 
while their focal length is denoted by small f. So, the principal focus of a convex mirror lies, what's the position of their principal focus of a convex mirror? It lies behind the mirror, while in case of a convex mirror, sorry, concave mirror, it lies in front of the mirror, while in case of a convex mirror, it lies behind the mirror. So, we say that it lies, the principal focus of a convex mirror lies behind the mirror. In case of a concave mirror, we said that this point is a real point, concave, where the rays of light actually meet. But here, is it a real point? Do the, actually, uh, do the rays of light actually come out from this point? No, they don't. That's why we say it's a virtual point. That's not real. Fine? It's a virtual point that the rays of light appear to diverge from this point. They are not getting diverged actually from this point. They appear to diverge from this point. That's why we say it's a virtual point. So, in case uh, concave, uh, principal focus in case of a concave mirror is a real point, while the principal focus in case of a convex mirror is a virtual point. Principal focus of a concave mirror is that point where the rays of light actually meet and the principal focus of a convex mirror is that point where from the rays of light actually diverge. F um, fine. So, here it is. Rays of light parallel to principal axis of the mirror, they meet at a common point. Fine. This point is known as principal focus of concave mirror. And convex, the rays of light are parallel to principal axis of the mirror. After reflection from the mirror, they appear to diverge from a common point. At that common point is known as principal focus of a convex mirror. So, principal focus and focal length of a convex mirror. I hope, uh, hope it's clear now that focal length is the distance between pole and focus. Inshallah, we will discuss the next topic in next lecture. Thank you.